The community is still healing after the unexpected death of Jackie O, the mother of DC Young Fly's children. Since the news, fans and peers of the two have reached out and offered their condolences. Carlos Miller would break his silence over social media to give a message to his comedy brother. Here's what he had to say. Keep God first. You always say that, and you always do that. The definition of a praying man. Anybody that knows you knows that. I've seen you stand tall through it all. Blood couldn't make us any close. You're an extraordinary entertainer and an even better person. I've got nothing but love and respect for you, brother. And there is no doubt in my mind that you're going to move with grace and never lose your faith. What's understood doesn't have to be explained. Family. Now, this unfortunate news would break, and of course, a lot of people are reacting to this. Um, Pierre, I'm going to come to you first. You know, once you saw this and, and seen this, you know, surface, what was your reaction to the news? Um, of course, like many people, I felt really bad. Uh, you know, such a young lady, you know, a mother of three children, you know, um, it's just, that's, that's just, you know, rough. I didn't really like the way people kind of made her uh, the villain you know, villain uh, about, take, you know, getting the surgery, you know, she didn't get, go get that surgery thinking she wasn't going to wake up or whatever the scenario was, you know, would be. Um, and I don't think it's our job, our, our, you know, right to, to, you know, to put it on her and blame her and, you know, you know, because she had surgery, why women get surgery and all that. Think about it another way. Uh, some children just lost their mother. Let's think about that first. DC Young Fly lost his spouse, you know, uh, his mate. Uh, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than, and it doesn't matter the surgery. I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? I feel more, you know, bad. This man has to go through the next, you know, his life without the mother of, their, of, of the, his children, uh, of his children, you know, and he has to explain that. And, and he has to change his way of moving and grooving out. You know, she, from what I heard, she, she did a lot for those children. She was in their children's lives all the time while DC was working and stuff like that. Even DC joked about how hard it was to raise his kids and stuff. So now he has to be in that position. Yes, he, she has a mother, so the kids have grandparents on both sides that can help. But as a father, one, and I know DC, he wants to be in the kids' lives hard, you know, a lot more. And he's also a very popular entertainer. So it's going to be a little rough to be out here trying to do that and tell jokes. But to put her and make her like, like she's the villain because of this is absolutely nonsense, man. Let's have some grace and mercy for the fact that, you know, she, like I said, someone lost their... Their, their mother, some kids, and a, a spouse, and just an all-around young lady. Um, we already know that these surgeons could look at Kanye West's mother. We saw what could happen. So we know that. You getting on her about what she did, or, or, or thinking you're going to help other women not do it, is ridiculous because people, women are still going to do what they're going to do. It's their bodies. They have the right to do what they want to do. But, they, but to villainize her and make it seem like she's the wrong one so bad, it's ridiculous in this scenario, man. Just have more empathy, I think. And I, I feel for the brother and his kids. Yeah, no, you said you said that perfect. Those were definitely my thoughts. Exactly. Capone, let me come to you. Same thing. You know, once you saw the news break, what was your reaction to it? Working with DC, actually uh, spending time with the brother, the kids, kids mean everything to him. And, uh, you know, we talked and me being a veteran, I explained to him that I lost, you know, families throughout the job and uh, kind of asked for advice on how, how to balance it. And it's very, very hard to balance when you start to escalate up that ladder of success, you know, and for her to be that stone, she was a very, very stone to him. And, um, you know, it, it was like the perfect storm. And when that storm, something happens and it interrupts the flow of things, it's definitely hard to adjust. And uh, we all know him, he's, he's strong. He's gonna make it happen. Um, never mind what the reason was, just be that supportive for that young brother because, uh, you know, a thin line between sane and insane from pain can really, really hit you hard. So I, I, I suggest anybody who knows him, and you know, when I heard it, I reached out to him right away. I didn't even call him, I just text him, said, if you need me, just hit me up. Because you know, you never know what a person's mental is at that point. And yeah. this everybody coming at you in all kinds of ways, it's, it's, a, it's a thing. Yeah, it's like, some people get lost behind the internet and forget that these are real people dealing with real things. 
Um, you know, we saw Nick Cannon go through this, right? When he lost his son, we saw Nick Cannon continue to work. And a lot of people, you know, you were saying like, hey, Nick Cannon, you need to, to stop working, slow it down. Um, Capone, let me come to you. We've seen 85 South um, cancel some of their June shows, obviously. Um, but I want to ask you, I know you said you've given him advice on how to balance things early on, but now I can only think about, you know, when I think about comedians, sometimes I hear that, you know, doing stand up is like therapy to you all. So sometimes it's, you know, you want to get to it and you want to kind of let it out. But have you ever been in a situation where you lost someone close and had to kind of make that decision of, hey, do I do I take a break or do I keep going? And if so, you know, what was that? What was that like? And what advice would you give to D.C. at this point? Uh, I deal with it every day. You know, um, my loss was my mother. 94, the one who actually created this forum for me to become a comedian. And uh, those who know me know I dedicate every show to my mother. Um, I also, you know, that pain never goes away. And I built the company just so I could always remember. And, it, and the name of the company is called Mama We Made It because she's never seen me perform. And so um, it's it, for anybody to say, well, you know, it's been a long time. There is no such thing. You have to deal with it every day. Mother's Day comes around all the time. Her birthday comes around all the time. And people who know me, I go away. I go away and I just get my mind together because the memories that we have of me being a young kid and to see a single mother do what she did for me, it's priceless and I'll never get over it. So all I'm gonna tell him is, man, um, those kids, those kids are everything. You know, they're the glue to you and it's only gonna make you work harder. It's only gonna make you work smarter. And, um, you know, we all go through something. Absolutely, and I know you made a beautiful song for Mother's Day as well um, that I did I did get a chance to listen to, so that was pretty awesome as well. Um, Pierre, let me let me come to you. Same thing, you know. Have you ever lost anyone close to you where you know you had to make that decision? Do I take a break or do I keep going? If so, you know, if you could kind of give some some insight to that, and what advice would you give DC at you know at this time dealing with you know what he's about to go into? Yeah. I think almost every comedian, especially if you get to a certain, if you've been in the business for 30 years, I mean, you've lost people along the way, you know, be it close friends, parents, or whatever the situation may be. We all handle it differently. Some need to take a break. Some people get right back into work to get them back into the rhythm of this. But the difference here is she was famous. She was a celebrity. He's a celebrity, big time. Celebrity. Some of us aren't that big, you know, weren't that big. Person who died wasn't that big. My father died. People, my best friend, we don't know that. But he has to go out in public and people know that someone has died publicly. You know, his spouse has died. So it's a whole different feel. It may take him longer. When he gets on stage, people are going to wonder, is he going to crack? Is he going to not be as funny no more? What's, you know, they didn't know that. My father died. They didn't know that. My fans didn't know that, you know, <laughs> my father passed away. It's up to me to how I, I handled it. To by the time I came on stage, it was what it was. But him is a whole different thing. He's in a whole different spotlight, him and she was. So it's going to be a... I couldn't give him any advice, to be honest with you, because I've never been in that situation where a, a famous spouse has passed away, or a spouse was a person that's close to me like that, that people are going to watch me on stage and wonder, am I okay when I come in public? Are you all right? Be afraid to talk to me and say, oh, yeah, I didn't know what to say. And if they see him perform, is he going to be the same DC as before? That's a whole different mindset. So I tell that young man, take as much time as you need. Of course, you know, it's about you. It's not about us, it's about his fans. It's about him. Take what you need. I would say, make, you know, work on the family structure tighter, because like I said, he was a traveler. He wasn't around his kids as much as she was. So they're going to wonder where their mommy is, you know, as it comes up. And he's going to have to fill them shoes to explain to them and be around them a lot more and get that base taken care of first before he goes on the road. Now, again, he's his own man. He can do what he wants to. He can just go tomorrow. But obviously he, he canceled those dates for a reason because he needs time to take care of himself. And I think we should open our arms when he comes out and don't put that much pressure or look at him in a different way and say, uh, oh, you're gonna be this way, you're gonna be that way. How you feeling? Which man, just if he if he's coming out, he's ready to come out to be himself again. And we should treat him as he was before this incident. Be happy around him. You know, if, if he's doing a comedy show, be ready to laugh. Don't take every joke seriously. Oh, why, why are you saying this joke? Don't do all that. Just go and enjoy himself. And 
be happy that he's back out again doing what he does and loves and we you know his fan base loves absolutely yeah no i think that's beautiful advice and, and to be honest to say hey i've never experienced that before so i don't know exactly how it's going to be but I, I i agree with you i hope that people are just opening up their arms giving him love um we here at comedy Hype, we send our condolences to DC Young Fly, as well as Jackie O's family and friends, and just everybody that's been impacted by this that were close to them um, and extended. So